We recently took a look at the Slab Sentinel binder pages and we are back again today with another really cool product. Now, if you've never heard of Slab Sentinel before, they make products for storing graded cards. But today, we're actually gonna be looking at a product they've come up with for all of you out there who like your sealed promo cards and your booster packs. I love collecting sealed promo cards, especially sealed Pikachu promos. But before I found this product, I was struggling to store them safely. I'd found some binder pages from eBay, but I hadn't found anything that was perfect. That is, of course, until I found this. But Dave, how is this unassuming piece of acrylic plastic going to make a difference? Well, let's get into the product and take a closer look at it. So let's take a quick look at why my current solution doesn't quite work. So in here, we have some of my lovely Seal Pikachu promos, but as we can see, these pages are really flexible. And if something was to catch the ring binder, it's got the potential to bend and damage your card. So that really begs the question of how are these inserts going to get around that problem? Well, let's go and take a look at what we get and how they are meant to work. Each insert comes individually packaged and what you actually get is one sleeve that is obviously designed to fit a sealed promo or a booster pack and you get the insert itself which is this piece of recessed acrylic here. So as you can see there is a recess in the middle that is the same size as the sleeve and it is a nice and clear plastic. So the idea is that you take your sealed promo and first of all, we are going to put it into the sleeve. And this not only gives it a little bit of extra protection, it also helps it stay in place when we are putting it inside these inserts. Next, what we do is we are gonna take the sleeved card and put it inside the recess and obviously we want that to be upside down so that when we are viewing it through the front of the plastic we can actually see what's on the card. Now I find it a lot easier to load these pages up whatever that is you're putting in whether it is these inserts or it's slabs when the pages are out of the binder. So we're going to go ahead and quickly whip this one out. What we need to do is get this into the space in the slab binder page. Now, clearly what we could do is we could try and lower it in really carefully, but there is a really, really big risk that the card is gonna move as you're pushing down on the insert, and you could end up pinching the card and damaging either the cellophane wrapper or, God forbid, the actual card itself. Here is what I do instead. We take our insert loaded up with our sleeved card and we are going to do it upside down. Now this is why it's done easier when it is not in the binder. So I'm going to take the insert loaded up with the sleeved card and I am going to rest it against these bottom tabs in the binder page. And I am then going to take one hand and push down on the back and one hand on the insert and push. And there we go. Did you hear that nice click? And there we go, it is perfectly in and there is minimal chance that you are going to catch the card. Now then remember, I said these also work with booster packs. So let's take a look at the process for booster packs. So it is pretty much exactly the same. So I have here my Team Rocket artwork set and I've taken the liberty of going ahead and putting them in the sleeves already. Now one thing you need to be careful of if like me you have some of these long crimp packs is that they will be too big to fit in the sleeve and if they're too big to fit in the sleeve they are too big to fit in the inserts as you can see here it would hang over the top. Now when I bought this pack the person that owned it before me had already folded it along this crimped edge. Just bear in mind that if you want to keep that crimp unfolded these products will not work with those boosters. Our regular size Wizards of the Coast and booster packs since will absolutely fit perfectly fine inside these sleeves and inside the inserts. Now don't forget that Slab Sentinel make these gorgeous 
gorgeous black binder pages and these are perfect for these black Team Rocket booster packs. So let's have a look at loading these up as we go. So I have, as mentioned, gone through and already sleeved up the packs themselves. So I am going to take my sleeved pack, I am going to carefully place it upside down in the insert. Now one thing to bear in mind, these work perfectly for Pokemon packs and should work for most booster packs of a similar size. And what I also mean there is the depth of the pack. Obviously we need to be careful that the depth of the pack isn't going to exceed what we can fit inside this slot. Let's get these loaded up in this page. So I'm going to go through the same process again. I'm going to push into the bottom corner, flip and click it in. Great. And we are going to rinse and repeat. Oh, beautiful. And there we have it. We are ready to put in our binder. And because I can, I will be putting my Team Rocket packs in my Team Rocket binder. Look at that, doesn't that look fantastic? The black page, the black packs in the black Team Rocket binder. Mwah, chef's kiss. I would really, really recommend though that you have a few trial runs using the inserts with just the sleeve without any card in it or perhaps putting a card you might not worry about getting damaged too much because it can be a little bit fiddly to get used to, but it is totally worth it. Okay, let's talk about the price then. So these are currently available from the Slab Sentinel website, which we will link in the description below. They are £17 for four inserts and one of the clear binder pages. However, when we first bought these, you could buy the inserts separately to the binder pages. This is something that I would really love to see Slab Sentinel go back to, simply because it is really nice to have the option to either have the clear binder page or the black binder page. Now, clearly at these prices, these are not aimed to be used for every single card in your collection. These really are for securing and storing safely those really precious cards and sealed promos and packs that you want to keep pristine. Now there is something worth noting, however, because besides this, what are you going to do to secure these sealed packs and promos? The only other real viable option is actually sending them away for grading and getting them encapsulated. And that is going to cost an awful lot more where PSA, for example, start at $30 per pack to have graded and encapsulated. And the more expensive an item that you're trying to get graded, the more expensive the grading is going to become. So suddenly that's £17 to secure four cards in nice hard plastic actually doesn't become too bad. So what do I use them for? Well, I love to store my Pikachu seal promos in here, including probably my favorite thing in my entire collection, my sealed E3 Red Cheeks Pikachu promo. What I also love to do as well is mix and match between slabs and the inserts. One thing we noticed when we got our first batch of these inserts, however, is there were quite a lot of air bubbles in the plastic of the casing, presumably where it had been glued together. But there are some really important things to note there. So since then, the inserts have come pretty much perfect. There've been a couple of air bubbles, but nothing compared to that first batch that we got, which really shows that Slab Sentinel are working hard to improve their processes and we love to see that. And of course, don't forget, we are not dealing with a giant manufacturer here like an Ultra Pro. Slab Sentinel is a small independent business and the fact that they can bring a product to market as good as this is without that giant manufacturing budget 
is quite frankly pretty amazing. So then, do you think you have a need for this product? I would love to hear from you in the comments down below what you would be storing inside these binder pages with those inserts. If you like this video, you would love the review we done of the binder pages themselves, or perhaps go and check out the review we done of Gem Loader's Top Loader Binder, which lets you actually store top loaders in a binder. It's pretty cool. Okay, that is everything from me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.